and we're gonna pick about five oranges to uh, put in our orange marmalade today. Welcome to Levere's Urban Garden Kitchen. So this is the first recipe I've done for everybody and we're gonna give it a shot here. We're gonna make some orange marmalade. Now these oranges are from my tree that I've been waiting so patiently for in the backyard for them to ripen. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make some orange marmalade. And to start out, what you're going to need is you're going to need one and three-fourth pound of oranges, which is about five to six oranges, depending on the size of the oranges. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the, cut the tips off of these, and then we're going to run them through the slicer here. You want about uh, an eighth of an inch as far as your slices go. So we're just going to cut the ends of these off. And we're going to... Um, discard the bottoms of these. Like I said, you want, uh, on the mandalay, you want about uh, an eighth of an inch. You don't want them to be too thick, unless you like uh, the peels, because the peels could be a little bit bitter. So we're gonna just slice the ends off again. And then once we get these all done, we're gonna take, the, take one lemon, and we are going to take the zest from the lemon, and we're also going to take the juice from the lemon. So we're just gonna, we want about an eighth of an inch. Which does, just d discard that extra stuff there. So like I said, one and three fourth pound of oranges, which is going to be about, I'd say about five oranges roughly. This thing works so good. Gotta tell you, I gotta steal on this uh, Mandalay at the uh, Kohl's. It was $49.99 and I picked it up for $9.99. What a steal, huh? Now, once these are, once these are all finished, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, remove the seeds and then we're gonna take our slices and then we're gonna cut them into uh, quarters. And then we will add that in the lemon zest to six cups of water. And we're gonna start to cook them. Start to cook them down. Okay, so we got our peels done. As you can see, we got some beautiful slices here. So what we're gonna do is cut those into quarters and we're gonna add them with the lemon zest and then we'll start to cook them off. So we're just gonna take some lemon zest here. Just do the whole lemon. And we're also gonna take the juice. Now you don't wanna to go too far down on the lemon. You just want the zest of the lemon. And if you hear a squeaking noise, that's you, Ray, playing with his toys in the background. Been a little cold out here in Arizona. So what a great day to make some orange marmalade. Okay, now that we got the oranges all sliced up, we got them all cut up in quarters. We got our lemon zested uh, along with the lemon juice. Now in your, what you want to do is over a hot kettle here, you want to turn on your heat to high. And we're going to take six cups of water. You're going to take your oranges and your lemon zest. And then we're going to start to cook that down. 
So we're gonna take and uh, heat this up on high until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then we're gonna uh, lower, lower, lower the temperature down so that it just sim simmers for about 40 minutes. So now that we got this going, we're just gonna let this cook down now for until it boils and then we're uh, gonna simmer it for about 40 minutes until the uh, rinds start to get tender. Meanwhile, uh, these are gonna be my uh, canning uh, pans here. Uh, we've got them full of water. Uh, we also got racks in the bottom because you don't want your cans to touch the bottom or you don't want them to touch the sides or each other. And we're gonna use 10 eight ounce uh, jars we're gonna use do five in each one, which is eight, it's gonna be equal out to about 80 ounces, give or take one or two jars, depending on how the mixture comes out. So we got our jars all ready, we got our lids all ready. Uh, we're gonna to start to heat these uh, these up. We want to get the get this water start to boil. And then once this water boils, we're gonna stick our jars in there, we're gonna stick our, our rings in there, not the lids, and then all of our uh, utensils that we're gonna use because you wanna sanitize them. We'll end up putting the lids in uh, later on once this is all done. So we got our sugar here ready. Now we want uh, three pounds plus 12 ounces of sugar. Three pounds plus 12 ounces of sugar. Now I don't, uh, I took out all the seeds because I, I really don't want the seeds to be in there. So I'm actually going to add just about two teaspoons of pectin once this is all done so that we can be sure that the uh, mixture is going to set right. You'll need a thermometer, a candy thermometer, because you want this to get up to about 223 degrees once this starts to boil down and cook down. And you just want to stir it frequently. So I hope you take the time and, and, and make this recipe too. It's really, really delicious. I actually made this recipe yesterday and it turned out quite well. We have a few jars here that are already done. Nice and strong. It looks delicious. It's going to be yummy. But uh, don't forget, you can uh, also follow me at Levere's Urban Garden on Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, and be sure to like the video and keep on following me. We got a lot going on out in the garden right now. Hopefully we don't get too much more frost because that's not a good thing. Uh, but we got lots, lots happening out in the garden right now. Now it's just a good time. It's just maintaining the garden and making sure everything's fed and watered and taken care of. And so it's time to do some uh, recipes inside. Now, uh, a few days ago, I uh, did my own pickle recipe for uh, banana peppers. So be sure to check that out. They're really tasty and good. So we're just gonna cook this down for another, for about 40 minutes or so. And then we'll kind of go from there and, and see how it's looking. Okay, so we got it boiling. That's looking pretty tasty in there. So we got our oranges boiling, our pots are starting to boil, and we're going to be ready to rock and roll here in about 40 minutes or so. There's all of our supplies, and there's a batch that we made. Our water is starting to boil in there in our pots. So once that water boils here, then we're gonna put our jars in there and we'll just, we'll put everything in there. We'll heat the jars up. Once the jars and stuff are boiled for 10 minutes, then we're gonna turn down the heat to very, very low. And we're just gonna let those sit in there and rest until our uh, mixture is all ready to go. As you can see, it's starting to boil. So we are going to turn this down so that we get just a simmer here. It smells so awesome in this house right now. Okay, so we got about 28 more minutes left on this marmalade. 
See, we got a nice simmer going on there. We got our jars in both of our pots, our utensils. We're gonna let them boil for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna turn them down to very, very low and just let them sit until the mixture's done. And then we'll start filling our jars. Okay, so we got our jars are all boiling. You wanna boil them for about 10 minutes. I put five eight ounce jars in each one along with the, the, uh, the rims. Uh, you don't wanna put the lids in yet. Once it boils for 10 minutes, then we're gonna add the, uh, the lids in there. We're gonna turn it down to about a two and just let it sit there until our mixture is done. Our mixture is cooking, cooking here. We're gonna let it simmer. We still got about 20 minutes or so. And basically what you're doing is you wanna cook this down until the rinds get really, really soft. Once the rinds get really, really soft, then we're gonna turn up the heat to get this to boil. We're gonna add our sugar and like I said, I'm putting a couple teaspoons of pectin in there. And we're gonna add our sugar in there and we're gonna cook that down till it reaches a temperature about 220 to 223 degrees. Uh, take a small plate, put a small plate in the freezer. You should, be do, you should do that about now. And what we'll do is once this gets up to temp, we'll take and put a little bit on, we'll pull out the plate out, out from the freezer We'll put a little teaspoon on there and see that it gels. If it gels, we're done. If not, we gotta keep we gotta keep going until it starts to gel a little bit. You gotta be patient with this. It takes takes quite a while to do, but once it's done, it'll be amazing. And we've got about seven more minutes on our uh, lids and jars there. Uh, make sure you got your thermometer there, and we're just cooking this down. Oh, it smells so great in this house right now. You have no idea. So we are back. I'll tell you what, this is taking a while. We've been here for about 30 minutes on this. And we are at about 223 degrees right now. So I think we're getting really, really close. We're going to test it out here. Just to double check. And then we're going to pull our plate out. Which is starting to look pretty good. Yeah, we're at 220 right now. And you can tell too, because it's starting to get a little thicken up quite a bit. So we're at 224 degrees right now. So I think we're pretty darn close to testing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our plate out of the freezer We just got to play here. We're going to stick a little bit of this on there. Just a couple drops. All right, so we got a few drops on there. And it's still kind of still running a little bit. As you can see, it's I mean, it's starting to gel up. It's pretty good. I think we're pretty good. So based on that, we're going to turn this down off and we're going to start filling up our jars. So we are all done there. We're going to grab a ladle. Make sure it's nice and clean there. got all of our jars ready to go here. We're going to want a nice wet cloth here because these jars are going to be hot. So this is turned off. So we're going to use our little scoop thing here. This is going to be a little bit messy, but that's all right. It'll clean up. All right, so we're just going to Slowly work our stuff out over here. We're going to fill up our jars. We're just going to go to the bottom of the rim there. You don't want to go too far. So we're just going to fill our jars just like that. And we're just going to keep on moving on all the way till we get all this out. 
And listen, this, this stuff is really hot, guys. So, you know, make sure you're careful and make sure you have the right equipment to do this. We don't want anybody getting burnt. And believe me, I've got a couple boo-boos from this already. And we're just gonna move on. And we're just gonna keep filling them up. Just wanna go around and wipe all your rims off real good so that you get a really good seal on there. So we're gonna put, just keep doing them like that and then we'll close them all up once we get all the lids out and we're ready to roll. Okay, so we got our jars in there. They're boiling, we're gonna boil them for about 10 minutes. And then we're, you don't want them to touch the sides or the bottom, so you need to make sure you put a rack in there and you don't want them to touch each other. And then uh, once they're done, we'll pull them out here. We'll put them over here, let them sit for 24 hours, and voila, you'll have awesome orange marmalade. I've already tasted it. It tastes, tastes amazing. Hey guys, so we're back here. So it's been about an hour since he's been sitting here. But we're gonna take a peek. And I gotta tell you that all the jars sealed correctly and the batch looks really, really good. Take a look at that marmalade. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. So hey, so thanks for watching the video, but this was a very successful recipe. So don't forget, you can follow me at Levere's Urban Garden on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, so thanks for, make sure you like this video and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be sure to give this video a like if you want to see more like it. Subscribe to keep up with the garden. Comment down below if you have any questions or requests. You can find all the ways to connect in the description box, including lavgar.com, where you can buy seeds or view blog posts, and at Levere's Urban Garden on Facebook, which is where new content is previewed. Until next time, have a